channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Marissa and today's video is going to be my June favorites. I have a lot of beauty, not like beauty, I have a lot of fashion and like hair type of beauty products. Um, I do have a lot of makeup to show you but a lot of the stuff is kind of skin related or hair related or fashion related. So I kind of have the categories of fashion, beauty, and hair all up in there and yeah I've been loving this headband so sorry if you saw it in my last video but oh well I was pre-filming because I'm gonna be in Mexico so I won't be able to upload on Tuesday or that Thursday because I'm not sure if I'll have Wi-Fi and I'm probably not gonna bring my computer I'm just gonna be spending time with my boyfriend and all, my, all of our friends so that's why I am pre-filming some videos to upload um, before my trip. I'm going to see my June favorites, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with hair because, I don't know, I've been loving some hair things. First, been loving this headband. Anything hair related, I just love. I love this headband and like little cute scrunchies and like hair scarves. I've just been wearing them non-stop. This one I love. Like this one I got for the 4th of July. But I just think it's so cute and you just like, if I can untie it, you just like wrap them around your hair and it gives it just the perfect like girly vibe and then I just love this. This was in my hairstyles video for short hair. I just love hair things. Still in the hair portion, I've recently been just wearing my natural hair which is super curly and frizzy but, but. I have found products to tame the frizz and the curl and they are these two products right here. So the first one we have, this is the L'Oreal New Smooth Intense Frizz Taming Serum and I got this a very long time ago and I just recently pulled it out into my collection and just looks like that and it's clear and it smells so good. It literally smells so good. And all it does, it says it's 72 hour smooth frizz control. And I really feel like this does help the frizziness of my hair kind of just, you know, maintain its frizz and keep calm. This really helps because I have really frizzy hair. Like, it's ridiculous. And I just feel like this has really helped. And so glad I brought this back into my collection. Is this Pantene Curl Controlling Cream. And this smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells so good, and I forgot to mention, you do put this in wet hair. I mean, you can probably put it in dry, but it's going to make your hair look a little greasy if it's dry. Put it in wet and just, like, comb through. Mostly focus on the ends and where you, like, get frizzy. Don't put it right on the roots here because then you will get greasy. But I find that it doesn't make me greasy when I put it in while I have wet hair. But... This is amazing. This claims to provide natural looking definition and leaves hair feeling totally soft and moisturized and it blocks humidity to tame frizzy, unruly curls. And I really find that this helps. Again, I brought this back into my collection. Had it for a very long time. And it's pretty big. You get 7.6 fluid ounces. And I've had this for probably three years or so. And I just love it. And it's just like a creamy gel texture and if you got curly hair girl this is for you moving on to like I'd say body type of things I've talked about this so many times but I've been loving this Jimmy Choo Elipt perfume look at the packaging it's so freaking cute and I mentioned this a while back I think in one of my favorites videos but I'm almost out as you can tell I use this every day. I have so many other perfumes that I could be using. I have Versace, I have the Alien perfume, I have all different ones, but I literally just use this. My friends use it, Sydney uses it. You guys know Sid, she's been on my channel, she's my BFF. Hey girl, if you're watching, love ya. She uses this when she comes over. Like, this is just like the go-to perfume. It's so girly and like mature. I'd say it's kind of on the florally side, but not like too much. It's just like the perfect perfume. If you go to an Ulta or Sephora or something and they have it, just smell it out. Last 
skin product before we move on to makeup and clothes. I always used to get spray tans, not like where you go into a tanning salon and do it, where I, I always go to where like the girl does it for you. I feel like it's less orangey and it just stays on better and it's not blotchy. But I am going to Mexico like I said and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy some self tanner and test it out for a little bit. And everyone raves about loving tan on YouTube, so I decided to try this bad boy out. And I got it in medium, which I should have gotten in dark. But fun fact, you can build this up, put a layer on in the morning, wash it off, and then apply another layer, and then wash it off six hours after, and you will look dark. Mine's kind of fading, but this is amazing. This is their Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This is the six-hour one, so the regular one. They do have a two-hour one, like two-hour express, but... I'm fine with the 6 hour one, I just put it on at night, sleep with it on, and shower it off in the morning. But I find that this is not orangey. Like, it doesn't make you super orange. You know how some of them kind of leave you orange and blotchy? This is total opposite. I highly recommend. All the YouTubers write about it, so I was like, you know, I'll test it out. And they do sell it at Ulta now. So check out your local Ulta if you want a good tanning self-tanner. For makeup, we have quite a bit. Um, just things I've been loving in the month of June, new, old, stuff I pulled out of my collection, and yeah. So, I've recently pulled this back out of my collection, and I've used it in two of my videos already, recent videos, and it is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Spray, and this is so good for the summertime. It just leaves you nice and dewy. You can use it as primer water, setting spray, it's 3-in-1, so... It's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free, and I find that just leaves my skin feeling hydrated and dewy and very like prepped and ready to move on to like my foundation and stuff. So I find that this really helps. I've been loving is the CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotion, and this has vitamins E, B3, and B5, and I have the shade Golden, I think. Right? No. Oh wait. It's called Daybreak All, but it's like a golden color, and I love this. I've used it in a video, I think, maybe a few videos. This is amazing. You can just use it as a primer. You can mix it in with your primer. You can even use this on its own if you don't want any makeup on other than, like, something a little bit dewy and glowy. Moisturizing, this is amazing. I'm really into the cream products right now. Since it's summertime, I have a few to share with you guys, so... First is cream blushes. I've been loving cream blush lately, and these are the e.l.f. cream blushes in Peach Perfection and Rose Royalty. I use this one in a video, and this one's my perfect summer shade. Like, perfect summer cream blush shade. It's a nice peachy cream blush, just like the name, Peach Perfection. And then the other one is perfect, obviously year-round, but I use this mostly in the wintertime. It's just a nice pinky, darker kind of shade, which I absolutely love, but I just love the peach look in the summertime, clearly. And loving, guys, loving. And I've used it in many of my videos, and this is the Mega Glow Hello Halo by Wet n Wild, their liquid highlighter in golden. I think it's this one's golden. Yeah, Gilded Glow. Sorry. Whatever. It's golden. Love the Dolfa applicator. Are you ready for this? Look at that. That is stunning. Stunning. Like, it's the perfect liquid highlighter if you want, like, that bam in your face highlight. Put this on, then apply your powder highlight, and you're good to go. I have a lot of drugstore products in this video. You're welcome. Bronzers have been my jam in June. One, you know I've been loving the Catrice Sun Baked Bronzer in Sun Kissed Bronze. I use this in most of my makeup videos because it's amazing and it's the perfect summer shade baked bronzer that is like literally so pigmented and not patchy and just creamy, buttery, all those good words. And then I have an oldie but a goodie that I pulled back out of my collection and it is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin in Sun Kissed. This is a great bronzer. Great drugstore bronzer. Again, these are both drugstore. This is like two bucks. This is like seven dollars, but they do the same thing. I love this. It has four different shades. I 
honestly mix the whole thing together and just apply it and it gives you such a nice sun kiss bronze like the name it like gives you just like overall like tan goddess but like keeping it somewhat simple and healthy just like the name blush been loving this one blush by becca and it is flower child mentioned it in a few of my videos and in my favorite top blushes video that i had or that i posted a while ago a little bit ago perfect peachy blush with a sheen of gold i have it on today but it's amazing and i've used it in a few of my videos recently it's so perfect to travel with like it's so t it's literally so tiny it's such an aff okay it's not affordable what am i saying this is such a great high-end blush if you're looking to splurge i know it's a little bit small but it's perfect if you love peachy pink cheeks i forgot the name anyways but yeah this is perfect to travel with i love it love the packaging it's so retro and i just love becca's formula it's so buttery and creamy and it's literally the best blush ever so for fashion pieces i've been loving these types of tank tops kind of like what i'm wearing today with the really thin strap and i have two more here because i'm literally so obsessed so the one that i'm wearing right now and this one is from urban outfitters they were both i think 18 dollars but they're so stretchy. Whoa. They're so stretchy and I love that it has like two thin straps. But they're stretchy and the most comfortable like clothing pieces ever. It's like that nice like cloth material. I don't know. It's so comfy and stretchy and I highly recommend these. And I'm wearing one right now and they have a bunch of like different patterns and colors. So definitely check that out. The next one is from Forever 21 and I wore it in two of my videos. But this is from their PJ section, and this is like the seamless cloth one, and I believe this is like the small medium size, and this was $7.90, and, like and they have like a bunch of colors, so if you don't want to spend $18, you can get good ones at Forever 21, and they're literally the same material. I wear a lot of tank tops in summertime, clearly, because in Arizona, it's like 110 but I love like these little, just simple little tank tops have like little ruffles or like patterns on it and this one's from forever 21 i think it was like five bucks honestly and i just love these for the summertime they're so comfortable to wear it's like again that nice cloth material it's very thin it's perfect for summertime and i think it just is so cute to wear when it has like different colors on it and i just think it's perfect for summertime and i want to get a little fancy i'm gonna bring this one to mexico I love this crop top. It's from Pretty Little Thing and it has like ruffles here and then the back here is a little bit open. And I did have to get this taken in because it was a little like saggy so I just had to like lift the straps up a bit. But this is so cute and I highly recommend it. It's a very nice material. It's very stretchy and I think it's so cute, like night around town with some cute disco pants, you know. Lastly, for shirts, I've been on the hunt for just cute basic tees and H&M never disappoints. I've been loving this and it says sweet and strong. I wore it in one of my videos. I think it's so cute. I just love the tan color and the little writing on it, but these are the type of t-shirts I've been trying to look for recently. Just like simple things that I can wear in the summertime, winter, whatever. You like dress it up or dress it down and it's perfect to just lounge around in just something cute and simple. But it can also make it look really good. So yeah. So that completes my June favorites for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed and I hope maybe you'll test out some of these products that I recommended. Like Loving Tan or primer spray and stuff like that and leave comments down below if you do purchase any of this or some of these are actually your favorites currently i would love to know and i would also love to know your guys's favorites and things that you want me to try out so give this video a big thumbs up comment down below any video suggestions for the summertime i'm looking to do like a whole summer series but i do need some suggestions and what you guys want to see subscribe Follow me on my socials, you know the drill, and I'll see you guys in my next video.